year, more than 14 million people come to see one of New York City's famous Broadway shows. In 2019, these performances brought in well over $1.7 billion. But since March, the theaters have been empty, and Broadway could be facing a record-setting year-long break. Theater critic Michael Riedel believes the theaters won't spring back to life until there is a vaccine against COVID-19. There is no possibility of Broadway or concerts or anything live, any live events coming back until there's a vaccine. One, the actors can't do it because how are you going to do Romeo and Juliet when they both have masks on? It's going to, you know, kill the romance. Uh, the musicians do not want to be in the pit of an orchestra until they feel safe going there because, as you know, with the vaccine, if you're blowing on the flute, on the trombone, it's going to spread the virus. So they're not going to, to go back to work. The most popular Broadway shows like Hamilton, Phantom of the Opera and Lion King will likely survive the unprecedented break. But some of the less famous ones might have to close and the sad process has already begun. The biggest one is, is Frozen, which is the Broadway um, show that was, was Frozen, but the pandemic is not going to not gonna pass. Done. Um, there are a couple others. But even those that survive will have to adjust to the new reality. The industry will have to review its pricing policy and compensation to those who work behind the scenes, musicians, set and lighting designers. You cannot reopen Broadway when there's a vaccine and say, hey, by the way, Hamilton's back on the boards and you pay $1,200 to see it. That's not going to happen. Ticket prices will have to come down to a reasonable level. But how to do that is a tough question for industry leaders. One of the oldest theater companies, the Schubert Organization, owns 17 theaters on Broadway. They were forced to furlough a lot of their employees, but have proven resilient over time. The Schubert Organization, which is the, uh, you know, the foundation of Broadway, the, the anchor of Broadway, uh, that has survived. The Schubert survived the Great Depression. <laughs> they survived September 11th. They survived the, um, uh, the collapse of New York City in the 1970s when the city was perceived as so dangerous nobody would want to come here. Uh, they survived certainly Hurricane Sandy. They have survived everything. Broadway isn't just about Broadway, but also New York City as well. The industry pumps money into the city and supports thousands of jobs. A vibrant theater industry funds hotels, restaurants, and stores near Times Square. For many, when Broadway comes back, New York City is back, with all its hustle, bustle, and shine. For Evgeny Maslov in New York, Anna Rice, VOA News.